Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Chenovsky here, and today we're going to be talking about Mad Viking Games. First off, I want to say I am not a financial advisor. If you are investing, it's your choice, it's your decision, so please do your own research. Next, if you do like this content, please hit the subscribe and like button. It really does help. Last, I want to say thank you so much to this community, Mad Viking Games community, VFAM, everyone out there. Thank you so much for your support. It really doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you again. Now, let's dive into this video. So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about breeding and the NFT characters for Mad Viking Games. I think we've been busy talking about um, the price action and partnerships and sex listings that it's just good to kind of go back to the game and just have some fun and talk about what um, this game has to offer. But before I do that, I do have to make one quick little sh uh, shout out slash announcement. So uh, today in the price chat, um, one of our community members, um, Data Before Dishonor, made an announcement that he wanted to do a giveaway for my channel for when I reach 1,000 subscribers. Um, I had no clue this was happening. I was out shoveling some snow from a blizzard and I came back and saw that announcement on Discord. Now, also what ended up happening from that was another person, CryptoLex, made in another <laughs> legendary announcement that he was going to donate another 10,000 MVG to the giveaway. So these two amazing individuals and community members wanted to help me out and donated 60k mvg to a giveaway for when i reach 1000 subscribers this came out of left field um i really am so appreciative of this and um thank you all so much for your support um and because of that support um i want to also include another 50,000 mvg to make the total 1010k mvg um Thank you so much for your support, you two. Um, it means the world to me, and um, I can't wait to see what the future brings. Um, I will be giving um, more details about that um, giveaway in Twitter and in the future. Um, I haven't decided out all the details yet, but um, it's going to be fun. Um, thank you all again so much for your support. Um, but now... Let's dive into this video and have some fun talking about breeding and um, these NFT characters um, in general, right? So, first off, let's talk about breeding in Mad Viking Games. So, breeding in Mad Viking Games um, is going to be, uh, I think, a massive part of the game. Now, breeding is going to be how we produce special, unique NFT characters. Now, breeding between characters can only happen one time per character, okay? So, if you wanted to do a breeding between um, your Gen 1 characters, if they're both a Bright Elf and a Dwarf, once you do that mating between them, they both cannot mate again. Now, when you buy these NFT characters, they aren't going to be immediately ready to breed, so you can't do breeding right as soon as the gen ones are bought um you have to wait for a certain extended amount of time um they haven't uh gone into details about that um for the nfts to mature so that way they can finally breed now breeding i think again is going to be a massive part of the game and it's going to bring a uniqueness to characters that i don't know if we can really comprehend yet Okay, um, they say when you're breeding, um, their breeding is not limited to just each race um, within itself. So what I mean by that is that breeding is not limited to a human breeding with a human. Um, breeding can happen between all the different races. So if I wanted to do a human with um, a monster Holdra, I could do that. If I wanted to do a Dark Elf with a Droger, I could do that. If I want to do a Dwarf and a Bright Elf mating together, I could do that. They really are leaving a lot of options open for us 
to breed and make our own unique type of characters. This really is something that I think is going to be important to this game. Um, I think people being able to design their own characters, create their own mix of races, is going to be something that is a badge of honor um, and is going to be something to show off and be cool while you're running around in this open world. Um, I can see people um, making some amazing mixed breeds from taking like a human and a, uh, a bright elf at the start, then taking that child and mixing it with a, a dwarf, then taking that with mixing with a droger, and doing all different wild combinations to see, <coughs> excuse me, what type of offsprings they can make. Um, I think that's going to be really cool down the line, um, and I can't wait to see what type of characters are created within the community. Um, I think there's going to be some really special ones out there that are like nine or ten generations deep that people are going to crave over because of the different types of traits that were passed down from generation to generation. Also, I could see with breeding, um, Gen 1 characters becoming way more valuable if they weren't bred, right? So I can see a lot of people holding on to their Gen 1 characters as well. Um, I can see when people are about 20 generations deep or 10 generations deep even, right? If you have a Gen 1 character to mate with that, you can only get those specific traits with that Gen 1 character, and that could be considered very valuable in the future. Okay, um, So I think this breeding thing has a lot of great potential, and it's going to allow uh, people to really design and create their own characters in such unique ways. And I think this is also going to open up options for people to sell these mixed breeds to new players and potentially make a little bit of money off of your characters that you're playing with and using on a regular basis. So this is this is one of those options that allow you to do that play to earn type of scenario, right? So it's a really cool concept. I love it, um, and I personally can't wait to see that started, right? So. Um, so with that being said, that's really how breeding is going to occur. I'm sure they're going to be giving a lot more details in the future. Um, all we've really heard about it is from the AMAs and um, other places where they talk about breeding. Okay. So now um, that we talked about breeding, let's just talk about these races in general. Okay. Um, what I did here was I just kind of pulled up North Mythologies. Um, images of each character so we can kind of get an idea of what they look like and see and kind of maybe speculate what mad viking games might be aiming for so first off humans are just vikings right so um, most of us know what vikings look like and can envision a viking so um, i'm not going to show a picture of vikings but um, i can just kind of um, open up my mind and visualize the show Vikings and I can just picture um, some of those characters becoming the look of the humans, right? So um, I would use the show Vikings as a good reference to kind of show what humans might look like. Now, another type of character um, that they're going to have or race is called, I'm hoping I'm saying this right, Draugr's. Okay, now the Draugr's are undead, um, are is the undead Norse mythology. They're dead, necrotic flesh, reeks of decay, and they came from undead Vikings, right? So let's take a look of what Draugr's might look like. Well, they look like how I just said, an undead Viking, and I think they look badass. They kind of remind me of... Um, I don't know if people watch Game of Thrones, but White Walker esque, right? Um, they're they're slaves, right? Um, not the Night King and the stuff like that, but the actual White Walkers. They kind of remind me of that look, and um, I think they look pretty badass. 
And I think a lot of people are going to love these type of characters. Um, if they get anything to like this quality and stuff like that, they're aiming for triple A quality. Um, I think it's going to be an awesome class in the game. And I think it's going to be one of the, the, the fan favorites in my opinion. Now let's talk about bright elves, right? Bright elves to me, um, when I first heard of them, I immediately kind of thought of, um, Lord of the Rings. And I kind of thought of the, the normal bright elves that you see, right? Um, and in the North mythology, it is kind of what I believe most people would envisioned for bright elves. Now I'm sure MVG is going to have their own twist to it and they're going to make it look amazing. And I can't wait to see, right? So, uh, bright elves are going to be something that i personally want to buy. Um, I want to have a bright elf and a dwarf to breed. Um, that's just my goal. I'm hoping to have more characters, to be honest. Um, I'm really excited for this game and what it has to offer. But if I can, too, at the bare minimum, I'm going to try and get a bright elf and a dwarf. Okay? Um, now, let's dive into some more of these uh, types of races. <clears throat> now, to go on with the elf theme... They have Dark Elves. I think this is going to be a great character as well. Um, the dr Dark Elves, I kind of envision looking like from um, Thor, um, the movie. Um, I think it's the Dark Elf movie. Um, I don't remember the title of it. But um, I just visualized that movie as being the Dark Elves. And when I went to look up these um, pictures, it was kind of that same impression that I was um, thinking, right? Um, I'm hoping it looks more like this. This looks pretty badass. And not that. Um, I would rather it be this um, because it looks absolutely incredible. Um, I can't wait to see Mad Viking Games twist on it. Um, I think they can do a lot of great things with Unreal Engine. And a Dark Elf is going to be something that I think a lot of people like because s some people like that bright side and some people just like to be that dark side. Um, so, um, I think this is going to be a very popular race as well. Now, one of the other races is called Dwarves. Um, dwarves are usually a well-known character. They, we see them in Lord of the Rings and in other things all around um, other games. And it seems to me um, Mad Viking games are probably going to go with that standard dwarf look. But I still want to see their own Viking twist. I mean, if they come out with this type of dwarf barbarian, that thing looks sick, right? Um, I would love to be walking around with one of those. This thing looks awesome. So um, I think there's a lot of potential here. Um, I think there's going to be some great things for Mad Viking Games, and I can't wait to see their characters. Now, there's a sixth category called Monsters. Now, they talk about in this paragraph three different types of creatures. One is called the Holdra. The other one is Savage Trolls. And the last is the Swift, I think, Vargers. So let's just look at those three different characters. So Hol um, Holdras look kind of like um, an elfish type character, um, maybe like a wood elf. Um, they have what seems to be kind of a tail to them. Um, so they... They look um, like some unique type elf character. So um, they look really cool. Can't wait to see what they have in design for them. Um, but Holders look kind of like a mix of a bright elf, dark elf, tree elf type thing. Um, and they look pretty cool themselves. Now let's see the trolls, right? Well, the trolls look pretty sweet. I I'm probably just overhyping. I'm not overhyping. I'm just probably going to say all of them look sick. Um, they, uh, the, the concepts behind this Norse mythology and these characters are just going to be incredible, right? Like imagine just walking around with this, this beast in, um, the open world. Like that thing looks awesome. Um, I know some people are going to be loving that, um, type of look. So, um, I can't wait to see what Mad Viking Games has in store. Now here's that last one. It is the Varga, Vargas. Now, I don't know really too much about these. Um, they don't have too many pictures for it. But um, 
So this is kind of the mystery creature for me. Um, but <coughs> I'm telling you that um, from looking through all these different types of descriptions and characters and races that they have described for us, um, I can't wait to see what they look like in the game. Um, breeding with them is also going to be wicked fun. Like, imagine if you did um, one of these drogers right here, drogers, and you just ended up mixing it with a bright elf, right? What's going to happen? Um, <laughs> things going to look pretty cool. Um, and it's something that I can't wait to see what other people come up with as well in design. Now, again, um, I do want to say if you, um, are interested in knowing more about Mad Viking Games, please visit their Discord. Um, I hope you guys had fun with this video talking about the NFT characters, talking about the races, and talking about breeding. Um, I hope you found this video helpful um, and informative. Um, again, if you do like this content, please hit that subscribe and like button. Um, it really does go a long way. Also, I posted a YouTube wallet in my description. So if you do feel like you want to donate to the channel, um, all proceeds will go to improving this channel um, and keeping it going. So any little bit helps um, along the way. Um, I hope you all have a great day, week, month, and year. And until next time.